Well, in my mind, um, the backbone of any strong global economy is affordable energy. And we have uh, some of the, if not the most affordable energy on the planet. And I think there's a strong correlation between the strength of our economy, the prosperity that we enjoy as a nation, and that connectedness to um, affordable energy for all. Mining has enabled people to make society um, advanced, however you want to call society advanced. Whether it's the airplanes that can now fly where we used to walk, cars that uh, have incredible materials that uh, now make them safer and more efficient, the fabric and the clothing, uh, compression socks, antimicrobial material. So it's, it's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. And so um, what you think is important, mining is probably connected to what you think is important. It's everywhere. If it isn't mined, it's farmed. And you have to stop and think a little bit of uh, if it doesn't come from those two places, where does it come from, right? We're sitting here in this beautiful convention hall that's built out of steel and concrete and it's wired with copper lines that are uh, producing uh, or giving us the lights that we have in this room and where does the energy for the lights come from and, and all those things are commodities that are mined from uh, the operations uh, around the world. If there is a light switch that's you know a lot an on off switch on anything it has silver in it. So think about everything in this room right now that um, without silver it wouldn't be on right now. Uh, it's a technology metal. It's a green metal. It's driving solar and alternative sources of energy. Um, so as we think about a more diverse energy base here in the country, silver is absolutely critical uh, to that. So I think about just basic modern life is completely reliant on, on silver. Affordable energy is, is one of the most important things in a society. The products of, of mining have allowed us to develop technologies that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. And you need all of our mined products to support the, the, the quality of life that we enjoy in the United States, to build the roads and infrastructure, the power and the reliable power, things that we take for granted, quite frankly, compared to some of the developing world. And uh, just all, all the different resources to make those available and have the reliability of supply that the mining industry provides in the United States is, is really something that sets us apart. For me, there's two. You know, one of the things about mining is that uh, it, can, it can bring about resource independence for a nation. And the second element is um, the economic benefits it brings to local and regional um, communities. So, you know, on, on, on the first one, if I, I draw it back to the Resolution Copper project, for example. Resolution Copper, when it's in full production, will have the capacity to generate 25% of the US future copper uh, demand. You know, that's a staggering amount of uh, independence on the copper uh, resource in the, uh, in the US. In terms of economic uh, benefits, over a 50-year project life resolution, copper will gener generate $60 billion of economic benefits for the state of um, Arizona. And you know, $61 billion is a big number, hard to put your head uh, around, but to put it in terms of Super Bowls, which many of us can relate to, you know, the last Super Bowl in Arizona generated around about $500 million of economic benefits. Mining is a basic industry and we need the resources in order to manufacture, to build infrastructure and nearly everything we do here is either based on what's grown or what is mined and certainly uh, it underpins the health of the nation and if we do not have those resources to work with then we're dependent upon others for those resources so it's vital to have a healthy mining industry in the United States. It provides careers, it provides technology growth, and it provides income to the country. Silver is just a unique metal. Um, it's really a green metal. Today, we consume about 100 to 150 million ounces for solar panels. Um, and so there's all these sorts of uses that people don't realize for silver and other, other metals. The antibacterial qualities of silver uh, is uh, it, it's really unique compared to anything else. Um, and, and those applications 
are even more, as antibacterial, for example, is even more significant in the developing world. Water treatment facilities. Um, you know, you can purify water with silver. So the biggest growth in silver consumption in India is for water purification. And it's done in a micro, at a micro level, instead of these large treatment facilities. It's, it's families, basically. And they're using silver to do that. 